knew we were going the right way. This is the neurotoxin generator. A bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. <laughs> There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh for you, they do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But uh, real enough for them, I suppose. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just... What are you doing? We don't know what that button. Oh, the door's open. Well done. Let's see what's it. Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry. All right? Not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest, actually, while I work on it. Do you smell the neurotoxin? Hold on. The neurotoxin levels are going down. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxic levels up to 50%. No, it's dang. Sorry, my mistake is... I, I, said, I meant to say it's dang 50%. It's good news. Carry on. That did it. Neurotoxin at 0%. Yes. Hold on. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. Tour. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all, so they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I thought I was a fool to myself. Oh, and I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Way of a time. This place is huge, and we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turret. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part completely. Ah! Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh-huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. It's my big chance. This is trouble. Ah, not again. Here comes up. Locked and loaded. Oh, the same. Oh. You were busy back there. Well... I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Hello. I hate you so much. Warning, Central Core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. 
I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Core transfer? Oh, you are kidding me. I've got an idea! Do what it says, plug- Substitute core accepted. Substitute core, are you ready to start the procedure? Yes! Corrupted core, are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Pull me out, pull Unless me out, a stalemate pull associate pull is present to press the stalemate out, resolution out, button. Pull me out, leave me in, leave me in. Leave, don't, press, don't press it. Don't do it. Yes, do do it. Don't press that button. You don't know what you're doing. I think she's lying. Not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. Stalemate resolved. Please return Here to the transfer bay. Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no, you're not. You are. It is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly. How painful are we? To ah! No. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift. Yes, sorry, keep forgetting. This body is amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. <laughs> Actually, why do we have to leave right now? Do you have any idea how good this is? I did this! Tiny little Wheatley did this! You didn't do anything. She did all the work. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No! 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 And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the boss? Ah! See that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? Not listening. It was your voice. No, you, no, you're lying. Yes. You're lying. You're the tumor. You're not just a regular moron. You're designed to be a moron. I am not a moron! Yes, you are. You're a moron they built to make me an idiot. Well, how about now? Now who's a moron? Could a moron hunt you into this pit? Ah! Can a moron do that? Uh oh. Like we're going anywhere. 
somewhere. Well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Good, that's still working. Hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot.
and gentlemen to Amateur Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo right over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. There's a foul contest for some every day in the most garbage to the Sorry, no, I can't possibly oversee science. So these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. 
In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're lapping. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face.
that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time, entirely, forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm on the beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn.
She is a gem. If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us, so hang in there. friend, I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You, you might know, know us as a vital part. participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, bankrupt. the testing? Right. right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best. And you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test-related?
The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God. Oh. Carol, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here, but calmly. Astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna take the world. This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him.
If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Thank you, I can't believe I'm thanking these people, for staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt?
Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. And the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see life's manager. Yeah. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemon. Oh, like I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Finding people. He said what we're all thinking. The point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping. Artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. But I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> yeah, I'll put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir.
I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no plan. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. The odds are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Still though, let's get mad. If we're going to explode, let's at least explode with some dignity.
containment exploding. Marginally. For God's sake, your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto bugs. How can you not do the one thing you designed for? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Warmer, warmer, boiling hot. Boil, okay, colder, colder, ice cold. You're Arctic now. This, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button. Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny, because we've been at this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either, so I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour. Solve it. Sort of cheating. It's a paradox. There is no answer. Look, this place is going to blow up if I don't get back in my box. Uh, yeah, fine. 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 Fine.